Welcome back everyone to the end of a new beginning mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mokolover. And today we need to read about the Federal Custom Service is established. We've just established the Federal Custom Service to help better control our borders and control immigration. This is especially necessary as we have refugees crossing over from the Ottoman Empire day by day, our customs officers. Are at this very moment, setting up control points all over our borders and creating a more protected state. That is all for now, Your Highness. Finally, and get two more Russian units. Let's take a look at these guys. And as you can see, maybe on screen. Well, we finally fish focus, and Poland is, exists, is, exists, exists. Actually, that's not bad. Military police is not too bad. For now, actually, for you guys, I might use you as military police then. Uh, since we're using the Grenadier Regiment, so maybe we'll use you instead, even though that does cost support equipment, which we're not making any of. Ooh. Uniform support guns. We don't even have, oh, we don't even have support guns. So maybe, 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 maybe not. Maybe not. You know, maybe, maybe not. So maybe we'll just keep them alive for now, or I just will just strip convert them already and then send them on their jolly way over here. Yeah, why not? We'll do that. But hope you guys have a good day. We've got a couple comments to go through, and currently we are talking about the question of russification down here. Some of our government suggests we completely end russification for the good of our nation. Also, like I said, there's a couple comments. Um, I think someone wants me to take integrate Finland, but we can't do that since we need to support Russian immigration. But you can only do that. If you abolish the Grand Duchy, which we did not do, and we instead re-establish the Finnish diet, so we can't integrate Finland, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. And actually, we still have them as a puppet, though. Or, I guess, technically, they are a dominion. So, can we actually... I don't think we can integrate them later on. Yeah, oh, they're actually raising their autonomy level. What's going on with Finland? Hold on. Language strife, risk of famine, industry focus... Uh, no, that's not bad. We get some more stuff here. Daily autonomy progress, Finnish flag. Ooh, that's not good. Maybe we should start building in their territory, but we don't have that much space to build, so. Get more construction speed as we're continuing to build up our industry. Ooh, and, and this will be done actually relatively soon. So those couple comments. First of all, try out the UK, France, Japan, Austria in this mod. I mean, it's, a lot of people want me to play a lot of different countries in this mod and other mods as well, so we'll see it. We'll, we'll see. We'll just see. I can't promise anything, but... Time is very limited, very incredibly limited, and processing things takes a lot of time too, so. See you railway. Up next, uh, disinherit your heir after Nicholas II is born. Um, I'm okay with that just because some of you guys recommended that, so I'm totally okay with that. However, we want Tsar Nicholas II, but he was born in 1868, so we've got a little bit of time. We need to wait before, you know, make sure he's actually born first, before I disinherit, you know, Alexander III. Someone recommends we also build up our navy to fight the Japanese eventually. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We need to take over this area eventually. We need to build up a really strong fleet. Ooh, the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom is not looking good right now. That's not good for them. As well as focus more on the Far East. I'm not really sure if we can focus on the Far East a whole bunch more. Obviously, we have the great game here, but we really can't do too much about that. Ooh, photogra photographic glass plates are done. Uh, can we do anything here yet? No, no. Uh, no, but yes. Reconnaissance. We'll just get this one done for that type of engineering. I don't think there's much in our focus here regarding the Far East. Obviously, we do have Third Rome, which is more European-based. There's not too much about Asia here. We have European diplomacy, establish American relations, protect the orthodoxy and the Holy Lands, which sounds like a lot of fun. We'll talk about this later on, probably once we do all the other reforms and such first. So, uh, yeah. There's not a lot about Asia here at all. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Maybe except for uh, setting up the government of Alaska, which we do need to do. Uh, someone recommends we finish industrialization tree. We'll get there eventually. And end russification in European Russia. The once proud peoples of Poland and Ukraine have seen the light as ethnic Russians and, ab and abandoned have abandoned their old and archaic roots and past glories. No longer shall they be burdened with their own culture and language. As true Russians, they are no longer occupied peoples, but rather core parts of the greatest nation on earth. Wonderful. So instead of restricted attendance, we get non-social attendance. We get more centrism. And which, now, we did that one. We could, we, I want to do that one badly, but we can't, obviously. I'd love to do it, but we can't. I think we've got to go with more industrialization. We could develop more naval artillery and do more of this stuff, but, which would be good. Oh, wait, I guess there is Far East supremacy. Demonstration of force in the Far East? Well, yeah, we probably want to do that. And the Baltic Sankt Petersburg. Yeah, I'll probably want to go this way. So that's one of the very few focuses we have regarding the Far East. Um... I think we'll do this one. Finish the Warsaw St. Petersburg Railway. Warsaw, the biggest city in Poland, is an important city, both economically and politically. If we were to connect our capital, St. Petersburg, to it by rail, by a rail, we would be able to exert greater control over the surrounding area. 
one infrastructure in Psalsk, Vilno, and Bialystok. So let's take a look. Bial we need one infrastructure, so we might as well start building up. Well, technically, I've already put in the rails for every single tile that we have. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, look at all the infrastructure I want to make. Because we will build eventually. Once we get, you know, a big enough industry, building roads will not be a problem at all. The Russians stand united. Great news. Uh, let's do that one since we already have enough political power. We really do have enough political power already. I'm not really sure where to spend it on. Let's see. Here it is. Uh, let's go with one, two, three. And Vilno, I know we need that one. And Slosk. Cool. And that's a 40 day focus, which is actually pretty nice. One level of Vilno. So just one level each. That's not bad, actually. So let's go down to one. But we're going to continue building up the cities. That's more important than infrastructure. Which will take four years for now, but that's okay. Specialization, nice. For land doctrine. Less winter and heat attrition. So be it. So be it. So be it. And last time, last time the North German Confederation formed. Totally fine. Totally fine. A shot in Paris. Paris? Uh oh. Come on, Nicholas. A second. You gotta get born so we can uh, disinherit our current heir. And do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Attempt on the Emperor's life. Paris. What a sacrifice. Uh. That doesn't sound very good. Uh, we can do that anyways just because we can. We don't even see that. Develop the Russian homeland. I don't want to use any more civvies for now. We will disinherit our heir. Just give us a little bit more time. Uh, political legitimacy. I don't really need that, but we'll do it anyways. Alright, so we're going to get this stuff done. And expand the Russian railway network just because it helps us with our infrastructure construction speed next. The Moscow St. Petersburg Railway is incredibly important. We must upgrade the rail line itself and build other smaller railway lines to smaller cities such as Helingsfall, Rival, Kiev, and etc. It hurts our consumer goods, which really just sucks. But it's okay. And we're not doing that one yet. We can close that out. Uh, we can close it out. Uh, Austrian Empire invites us to the World Fair. Sure, why not? Coal extraction, we can wait. And add some coffee. Vilno and Pusk get some... Uh, oh, wait. They said you need at least one infrastructure in each. Maybe it's already three each, maybe. So, this is Vilno, so it's three. Uh, we don't need that one. We need three and... What was the other one? Ah, this one three. So that's okay. So we got all three coming along. Keep building up them cities though. That'll be good, 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 good. And the question of more stuff. Finish industrialization tree, like we said. Get more population growth. Get more land property and tax reforms. Uh, someone recommends become more federal. Allow a full constitution before Alexander II dies in like 1881 or something like that. And take over Asia. Those were the comments so far the tenants recording for you. The last video. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I, well, I don't mind getting a full constitution. We do have basic human rights. Probably not a Sharia constitution, but with a constitution, it sounds like we'll be limited by what choices we can do and make as a monarchy. So we'll get there, but just not yet. Jury court. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. I actually have. Let's see. We have non-political trade unions. We can have free trade unions next. Non-socialist freedom of assembly, freedom of press, state religion. I thought we already went to secular state. Oh, wait. We did that one effect. Wait. We started secularizing. Yeah, we started this one. So after this one, we removed them. We'll become a secular nation. It is what it is. Let's see. Compulsory education is good. Limited exports. Actually, can we go to export focus? We, well, we could. I kind of want more construction speed. It's not going to help us out that much, though. We do have high taxes. Child labor is legal. We have an eight-hour workday. And we do have land purchase. Which is not bad. Peasant holdings, though? That hurts their consume. Oh. Peasants in this country are free, and all land is divided amongst them. I kind of like land purchase a little bit more. You get stability, consumer goods, civilian factory speed, so... Collectivization might not be a good thing that we really want right now. Maybe later if we really want to become communist, but I don't think we really want to become communist. Let's see. Maybe we'll go to peasant holdings eventually. Maybe. We'll see. A communalism? Doesn't look very good to me. Doesn't really look like it gives us that much benefits. We'll probably go with enforced <laughs> um, population growth eventually. It's going to give us some time, though. And I'll grab some more output. Because we can still use even more output. This is not looking very good. Oof. We do have full equality. Border control. Closed borders. That's pretty good for consumer goods and stability and research speed, but not good for monthly population. 
Mm. Oh, expand the Russian Railway Network. Good. And the Alaskan Gold Rush. Gold, gold. The Imperial Viceroy shouts with excitement in his hand as a report from America in a small envelope, which, being tossed on your desk, reveals small, gleaming pebbles of gold like promise. The Viceroy's excitement seems aloof for such a small find, but the report is positive that there's much more to be found in Alaska's growing gold rivers. Perhaps it would be prudent to look more into this potentially lucrative business? Of course it would be. Oh, and we need to finish this first before we can do this and do, go down there. Railways in Tbilisi. Okay, that's interesting. Cool. And what do we have for extra tech? Alright, so all this stuff is done as we established. Electronics and instruments are finished for now. We'll come back here next year. Let's take a look at this. I believe all this stuff is done as well, which is good in biochemistry. Process engineering, we still need some refining, so process, that type of engineering stuff is still needed. But we're going to go grab increased army morale. Oh, do we actually have another, another ship? No, we're not, really, we're not really making ships too much. We need more factories, period. But just ships overall. Yeah, we, we're constantly trying to repair things, so... Actually, you know what? keep making the ship. Keep making the ships. Capital ships are, are going to be super, super, super important eventually. And we do have full health care. Excellent health care. We have a police force, which is good. No budget, which we... Uh, mm, I might just go ahead and go... 20%. That's a lot less political power game. That's okay. You know what? Maybe we'll go rapid expansion right now. Let's go. Let's do, let's do that. Why not? Since we're building up roads anyways, right? Roads, 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 trade laws. Rapid expansion. There we go. First one done. Actually, we got another one here. What, what was it? Oh, we can do that one. That's fine. There you go. We have excellent legitimacy. Currently drifting minus one per month towards 84%, which is equilibrium. Okay, helps us with political advisor costs, war support, daily legislative power gain. Not bad, not bad. And we do this one now. Actually, we can only get how much? 1.56. That's actually quite a bit less. Minus 30% is a big hit. Get more mobilization speed. You lose some consumer goods, but you get 40% more construction speed for infrastructure. Which actually looks like it hurt us by doing that. But whatever. Whatever. Actually, what's the cost? Fuel capacity. 25,000 versus 18,000. Wow. Alright, that's not great. But it is what it is. Work in progress. Um... I would like to go to early mobilization. That just gives you more factories, which I like. Oh, hello. Private ventures. I don't want to hurt my consumer goods anymore for that now, though. Eventually, we'll get more stuff. We do need to get more naval infrastructure stuff. But we don't. I don't want to spend 4% more legislative power, 8% more consumer goods. Even though that's not bad for capital ship armor attack and screen attack and defense. And dockyard construction speed. Wow. Do we have any other reformers? No. We have a popular figure, but we already have max out stability. We have all the research that we need currently, so not too bad. After Alaskan Gold Rush, encourage capitalism. Why not? Awesome. High taxes with standard taxes. We lose consumer goods. Less legislative power gain. More research speed. Export focus. Um, okay. Capitalism. It's sure to make our economy grow. Soon enough, hundreds of businessmen from the West will flock to the East. Wild East in search of fortune. Not bad. I mean, we might raid a few more. Let's do chemical vapor deposition first. Nice. Cool. And other, a couple focuses that I'll do probably off screen just to keep pushing us ahead a little bit more, 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 more. Uh, let's see. Support the Volga German farms. Volga Germans are ethnic Germans living on the banks of the Volga River. They were originally invited to settle and develop the lands by Empress Ekaterina II in the 1700s after the Peasants' War. We must support them in return for the loyalty and development of our lands. Good. In addition, we will probably... Once this stuff is done, the Moscow Tsaritsyn Railway. Tsaritsyn was a city of great importance in the south from the moment it was settled by Tsar Ivan IV. It has always been the frontier between ourselves and the savage Caucasus. Let's bring the city closer to home by building a railway from Moscow to Tsaritsyn and develop naval artillery. Naval artillery is vital for a modern navy, but also for coastal fortifications as well as build dockyards. The Tsar has authorized funding to build more dockyards so that we can construct warships even faster. Alright, so we've just finished up the Volga German focus, but Germans immigrate to the Volga region. Over the past few months, the Russian Empire has seen a substantial amount of German migrants settling in the Volga region east of Moscow. While the Tsars and their advisors have traditionally been skeptical of foreigners immigrating in, into their feudal nation, as serfdom becomes less reliable and just completely eliminated, these new German vagrants could prove quite useful in developing and modernizing our nation in the coming years. We shall make good use of them. Hopefully we get some uh, missions with these guys, as we're still pretty much doing the same old, same old stuff. Uh, not too much, yep. And we have to wait until May, because that's when Nicholas II was actually born. Supposedly. So, first wave of migrants failed. I guess that's just going to happen anyways. Uh, maybe a few other focuses as well. Because I already read to build dockyards, but what if you just go ahead and read about 
domestic ship designs. We cannot stay dependent on other nations to design our ships. We must design our own. Expand the Kronstadt. Kronstadt is a naval fortress in the Gulf of Finland which protects the city of St. Petersburg. We must expand it to make sure no enemy warship can slip into the Neva River and bombard the city itself. Now, we're not doing uh, this one, but we'll read this the Baltic Supremacy as soon as we get some more research done for our army doctrine. Less planning speed, invasion preparation time, that's okay. But, our capital sits on the Baltic Sea, we must prioritize asserting dominance on that sea. For our Eastern supremacy, our colonies are all on the other side of the Pacific. We must prioritize asserting dominance on that ocean, as well as Imperia to Alexander II class. We pl de plan to develop a new type of battleship, a ship that dreads not. And now, my friends, it's Oct October? No, it's August 22nd, 1869, but the St. Petersburg Warsaw Railway is completed. The St. Petersburg Ra Warsaw Railroad has been completed today. This is quite important as it connects two vital cities in a great nation. Warsaw is the heart of our Polish territories as St. Petersburg is our capital. This will help better facilitate the transport of our troops across the country and greatly improve our economy. The construction of greater infrastructure and railroads is something that we needed to do and do it fast as proven by the terrible outcome of the Crimean War. Great, great, great. Currently, we're still doing a lot of stuff over here. Uh, we're apparently building up some sort of fortress. And I did put my ships over here near this area because we did have an option here to do that but I'm not seeing it anymore secularized construction um because I've done some more focuses off screen and actually let's go ahead and do it so we're so I went down the flexible foreign policy just because just I don't want to have favor to any side too much I'll put it like that so we're doing avoid co coalitions so stop avoiding coalitions we can do that eventually but I think for now it's just good to do that but since we just finished the stuff over there, how would we do the Moscow Tsaritsyn Railway? Tsaritsyn is a city of great importance in the south from the moment it was settled by Tsar Ivan IV. It's always been the frontier between ourselves and the Savage Caucus. Let's bring the city closer to home by building up a railway between Moscow and Tsaritsyn. I already read that, but it is what it is. And we can finally do that. So we need Mikhailovka, Tambov, and Ryazan. Cool. And we also did Far East Supremacy. So that's what we're doing. Demonstration of force in the Far East. So, yeah, not bad. We're second in the world right now. Um, you guys, let's come back over here. This was the fleet that was in St. Petersburg area, the Baltic. So, anything else? Not really. I don't think so. Just, yeah, there's not really much here. Um, so, it is at least four infrastructure. So, yeah, it's good. We can do that one. Mikhail Tambov. Where's Tambov? Ah, so it's probably here. Which, actually, I didn't do yet. Oh. Tambov needs to go up first. Probably need one there. Um, Saratov. Let, uh, let, let him go on first. That's fine. Uh, ah, here it is. Mikhailovka. Cool. We'll do that one too. Also, we do have a few more consumer goods just because. Uh, I will show you just a little bit. As well as Ryazan. Oh, it's up here. Rai Azan. Very good. Okay, so I know you guys said in the comments before that you shouldn't raise your mobilization law just because it, it'll it hurt you and you'll be forced to go back down. But I figured, you know what? I got so much political power anyways. We might as well go back, go down here and get to 10% better consumer goods. So we have more consumer goods. So we can start, you know, building more things. It does hurt our civilian factory construction speed, but we're only building infrastructure right now. We lose that 10% bonus to construction speed. We do get some more mobilization speed, or not mobilization speed, but research speed so I figured you know what why not we'll just keep doing this one for now um, just because I'd rather have a few more consumer goods to use than construction speed because that's actually a little bit better especially if you don't have 15 out of 15 so obviously this will be done in March 25th 1870 god it's gonna take so long it takes just so long to build things in this mod which is one of the reasons why I'm not super overjoyed playing this mod sometimes we can stop avoiding coalitions eh, it's all right other than that, ooh, we got some steam locomotives. It's almost 1870, but that doesn't really, too, really mean too much. But socio-economic humanity stuff, uh, we get oh, miles of rich colonialism. I don't think we'll be able to get any African colonies, but that's all right. That's all right. Oh, and all right, we have a mission to do stuff. But let's go and do set up the government of Alaska. Ruskaya, America has never been profitable with the encouragement of fur trading and possibility of mining ventures. We'll be able to found an Alaskan Grand Duchy to make it mostly self-governing, and from now on, all economic concerns of these lands are their problem, not ours. In which we actually get a core on Alaska. We could sell Alaska, but... Nah. Ah, see, now partial... Mo yeah, go and demobilize. Uh, it doesn't hurt us at all. I mean, yeah, by saying that we should mobilize more, we lose like 100 legislative power and stuff like that, but... 
at this point, who cares about legislative power? So I'm just gonna do it again, to get more consumer goods. We can go actually war economy. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We'll go war economy. We'll try that one out for now. Oh, look at this. What do we have here? Yes, we'll do that one. Develop Russian homeland. Great game. Um, industrialization. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it a little bit more time. So, won't be too bad. Get a building slot starts in. Not bad. And we'll, hopefully, it'll be done soon enough. Oh, look at that. Because we went to war economy. Now we have seven out of fifteen. Because I just want to produce, 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 produce. More, 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 more. 1870, not bad. It's literally going to take a year for that. Holy crud. So we're actually going to start running out of focuses to do then before we get down there. Oh, the U.S. is killing off the Native Americans. What else is new? And you know what? Since we're here, we must have just inherited our heir then. It is 1869, so Tsar Nicholas should be born already. Should be born. So if he's not, then, well, oh well. Look for an heir. Russian Empire is a need for an heir. There's enough noblemen and claimants to pick from, but how carefully should we screen to find our next heir? Air badly. Make sure air is valid. That's always good to do. Anything else? Uh, this one actually hurts. Yeah. We've seen this one several times. It's alright. I mean, 5% less construction speed, factory output, and research speed isn't good, but... Uh, if we got rid of that, we'd actually... Actually, we got rid of that. We'd only be getting 0.24 political power every day, which is not good. Not very good, my friends. Private ventures, limited grants. I'd love to go down to this one. That'd be pretty good, but... I'm not going to hurt up my consumer goods right now. Nope. Oh, there goes the Sioux. After that, ooh, we'll probably go ahead and do this one. Because we want to make sure our army uh, is up to date on all the latest doctrines, right? Right. We need to make sure our armed forces are popular with our youth so we can gain many new conscripts in which we'll get recruitment. Which seems kind of like a radical idea, but... Or maybe a non-radical idea, but whatever. We get 5% more recruitable population. Eh, that's okay. You know, that's alright. So we're going to get rid of the disorganized military structure, but next focus, hopefully, railways in Tbilisi. Yeah, going to demilitarize is fine. All right, and um, I'm not really sure what else we can do. I've already done most of the focuses already. Uh, we can do European diplomacy. Why not? European diplomacy, not bad. How is this coming? Oh, boy. 75, yeah, no, I don't mind spending the PP for now. Go back to war economy. Tsar Alexander II, why do you want to go to war so badly? Well, technically, if we go to war and we have a lot of allies, then they'll give us stuff. Like, our allies will give us stuff so we can get out of our deficit of stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. Shift work, not bad. And then after that, ooh, it's almost not ahead of time. So, we'll probably go with biochemistry and choose, ooh, no. Her, that's nice for monthly population, but I don't want her to consume goods anymore. Research speed, yes. Microbiology would be good to do. Alexander II holds a speech. Invited to the World's Fair. Might as well. Happy 1870, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Um, what do we do with our ships, though, now? Because we, we just were, did a demonstration in the Far East. Do we get these guys eventually? Because I'm not seeing that at all. The machinery would be nice. But hey, at least we ate 1870. That's nice. Nothing there. Nothing there. Military actions. Continue the construction. Roadworks. Having roads is nice. Very nice. Ooh, yeah. Infrastructure construction speed. We can still use that right now. Can we go to war for these guys? I, I want the territory. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, is Andrew Johnson leading? Yeah, wasn't he like a really bad president or something like that? Or maybe it was corrupt or something? I can't remember. Hmm. Real uh, voting coalitions. Justify World Wars. Oh, it's so much higher. But we can't even go to war with anybody anyways. Or justify, so which is fine, whatever. Oh, and our bonus to infrastructure construction will be going down. Additionally, oh, air found after weeks of searching ancient dusty books for claims and scanning the Russian nobility for valid claimants. We've at least found a proper candidate who will bring stability to our country by silencing the calls for an heir. Well, do we get told of who the heir will be? I kind of would like that. Can, can we know who the heir is? Alcoholism. Yeah, I know we need to get rid of that, but we need that political power for now, so. You know, I wonder what effects this will have. Hmm. There goes Navajo. Goodbye, Navajo. Is there anything else here? Yeah, we get to do that, but we're already done with that. I don't know why that's still here for kill canal construction. I guess just avoiding stuff. How do we do this one? I want to do this one. I want I want to do it to so get some more consumer goods. That's literally the only reason why. But hopefully we'll have some European diplomacy done soon. 
Uh, research. Also, you, you might be wondering why we have so much less army XP. That's because I changed my light cavalry into heavy cavalry. Even though we're still lacking a lot of stuff here. It's looking slightly better though. And I did give them some howitzers. The cavalry divisions do have howitzers on them, so that's kind of nice. And we'll do establish American relations. We'll see what happens. Oh. Anything else here? Invite Nicholas I of Russia. Recognize United Italy. Alright, any country can increase... What the heck? Montenegro, okay. Invite Nicholas I of Russia. We'll do that one. Uh, Montenegro, how is your tiny, tiny nation? Wow. Nicola. 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 Cool. But yeah, other than that, there's really not much going on here. And we're pretty much almost locked out of all our focuses. Yeah, go ahead and demilitarize. That's fine. That's great. We stand united. How great. How great. So if we do this one, we need Germany to be formed first, which will happen within a year, so that's not too bad. And then we can establish Eastern Question, and then we can claim Constantinople, Hungaria, support separatists in the Balkans, protects Orthodoxy in the Holy Land, which might piss off the Ottomans a lot, but I don't think we really care. Oh, microbiology is done. Good. Okay, quite a few things in, too. I don't want to hurt us too badly with that, but uh, going to do industrial fertilizers is fine. And, actually, how's artillery? We haven't done too much for artillery yet. We get more heart attack, that's okay. Eh. Get more breakthrough. Infantry stuff is so good to do as well. Uh, let's go back in over here and just get more consumer goods, because, my gosh, we need more consumer goods. Total mobilization, yeah, that's a bit extreme, probably. What are the, what, what, what benefits? Oh, and Finland wants to raise their autonomy. God dang it. I don't have... The means to help them out and lower their autonomy for now. Well, I guess they're not helping them out, but whatever. Oh! Oh, crap. Um, well, maybe free? Yeah, no, I don't believe in that right now. Oh, we can't build them. Oh, they're going to become free anyways. God dang it. Oh, that's so stupid. Yeah, I think th this tree needs to get looked at a little bit more. Because, yeah, we're not going to... We're abolishing the Grand Duchy. And we establish a finished diet. We can't integrate them at all, which, you know, makes sense, but still... I guess we're just going to lose Finland then. How great is that? How wondrous is that? But let's figure out what socialism is first. Requires technology. And we got two days left. I don't think we can do this one yet, so... Yeah, we can do that one. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Um, tanks and def defense like that. Organization loss was moving. Ah, uh, let's grab some support equipment. We'll probably need that, actually. Yeah, I'd like to do that, but... Mm, come on, keep building. Actually, we got those first two done, which is nice. Urban growth. Oh, war in Europe. Oh, here we go. French Empire declared war on them. Nice. Our country's been industrializing for some time now, and the growing industry in the Russian cities is attracting many people into the big cities, especially into our capital. Actually, can I get some sort of army XP? Can I give you... Nice flag. An attaché. You know what? Maybe we'll give it to the French. Can I send an attaché to these guys, too? That'd be really cool if I could send attaché to both sides. Oh, they actually took Kaiser Leuten. Oh, never mind. Oh, wow. Wowzers and Bowsers. The Germans are just coming in like crazy. Yeah, the French are just getting destroyed. What What does the German AI have on them? They have recon and, are, and engineers and... Oh, wow. Yeah, the Germans are going to be ex extremely strong. My gosh, can you just finish this up? Come on, guys. Build, build, build. Faster. What are the casualties like? Oh, uh, we'll read about that after we establish American relations. And... Oh, the Russian-American telegraph line. Okay, 35 days. It's not much, but... Okay, sure, why not? Wow. You know, you could build up the line there for, you know... Uh, I'm going to do that. I can't think of the name. The Maginot Line, but apparently the Germans don't even care. They're just like... I know, I know it's not built yet, but still. Oh, well, we dis dis did and disinherit our heir, so. Actually, we lost a lot of legislative power gain. Go over research speed, though. It's not bad. Wow. Yeah, that's not good for anybody. Anything else? Oh, here we go. Stop avoiding coalitions. Recognize Venezuelan independence. Invite Pedro II to uh, Russia. Establish relations in Costa Rica. Sure, why not? Might as well, right? Come on. Can we please get this stupid infrastructure done? 
Oh, we already have maxed out naval XP, so you might as well just go and go home. Metal cartridges are nice, so we're definitely gonna need those. 72 Gatling guns would be nice. I can't really afford them. Get some better uniforms, even though we can't even we don't even have enough yet. Okay, seriously, what's what's the uh, damage like so far? Fifty-eight thousand versus quarter million. Holy crap! The Germans very strong. They do have the industry for it, so what do you expect? You know. Italy. Okay, so we got the tele left line done, and now we're done. I don't like this. I do not like this. Yeah, maybe I should have done more industry stuff earlier on, but I hate waiting around for this stuff. Like this is not fun. Oh, the USA approves of our plan. The pompous liberals of the U.S. have re replied to request with a simple answer: No. Let's become clear: any democracy shall be no ally with us, as their peasant le peasant leaders can't comprehend, comprehend the maj majesty of Mother Russia. Oh well. Oh well. Whatever. I don't really care then. Cool, so we're done with that. Electrics and instruments. That's ahead of time. Construction speed, yeah, let's grab that one. Um, so yeah, this is really stupid that we can't do anything else. Maybe I should have done like more industrialization stuff earlier on, but seriously, like this is this is really stupid. That we're just wasting time just doing this. Like <sighs> there's obviously things you gotta get done first in the tree, but <sighs> man. I don't know. This tree needs to get reformed. It's being worked on, I'm sure, but oh man. Eventually, we will do railways in Tbilisi as well once we get the infrastructure done, but Tiflis has always been somewhat of an outpost high up in the mountains. By extending the railway into Tiflis, we'll be able to establish our uh, order in the Caucasus. Uh, might as well do impressions of mine as well. Victorian Army support equipment. I'd love to get this, but we just don't have the industry for Jack Squat. We just don't have anything. Um, Is there anything for construction speed, maybe? That'd be nice. 2.5% is not very much, but I'll take it. Factory and state. Yeah, we'll probably do this one next. Wrought iron structures. That'd be quite good. Nice. That's looking a little better. Looking a little better, maybe. Guns looking okay. Yeah, I think the French are done. At least for this war. How much manpower do they have? Oh, almost none. You guys have quite a bit, but you guys have almost none. And they're going to get more manpower once they integrate all the southern German states. So I'd hate to play as the French right now. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't play as the French. <laughs> At least not yet until I understand this a little bit better. Oh! And there they go. Wow! Is that supposed to... Wow. That's what happened when I took over them as well, but... Jeez Louise. Can we please hurry up with this stupid construction stuff? My gosh, it takes just so long. I know war economy hurts, you know, our ability to make that, but just, it takes too long to build stuff. It just really takes too long. We're in the Victorian era, and we're industrializing the workers' rights. Uh, monopoly hurts us as well, but still. The German Empire is proclaimed. Okay, so the struggle for unification is over for now, which should allow us to do this. Oh, okay, yeah, the League of Three Emperors? It doesn't do anything for us, but we might as well, right? And also, we do have Austria-Hungary, if you didn't notice that earlier. They did form. Um, Italy? When are you going to deal with your southern problem here? That's a lot of manpower. Up to a million. Hmm. That's not good. Alright, well, at least we're doing another focus for now, which is good, but... Hmm. Up to seven. We're only... Oh, we're still on work on me, which is nice. After this one, we'll probably do the Eastern question. In which we'll get... The Ottomans will get all pissy with us, which is fine, whatever. I don't really care. Actually, going to war might be okay. Just because... Well... We might have our lines broken, but then supplies will be really bad for them. How strong is the Ottomans right now? Because I want to be—I I do want to go to war. I don't want to go to war with them. I want them to go to war with us. Guaranteed by the UK, huh? Well, we don't like the UK apparently. Then horse limber, uh, dragoons, mounted stuff. Might as well get more soft attack and stuff like that. <sighs> That's a bad idea to do this, but go do that. Four day, we got it down to half, two a day. Woof. Are we missing any resources? No, we're still pretty good on resources for now. Ah, uh, demilitarized, that makes sense. Except this is not demilitarized, okay. And let's take a look. Oh, they haven't changed manpower. Of course, they probably didn't core all this stuff yet. Mm -hmm. Improve relations, maybe? Might as well. Improve relations, because we can. Oh, wait, they're... Oh, they will not accept. 
0.6 every day, not bad. Uh, I don't care about the improving relations with the Ottomans, though. No thanks. No thank you. The next deck will be done in about a week with Impressionism. Not bad. And we're pretty much done with the socio-economic humanity stuff. Over here we could do, you know, flight stuff. Which might not be bad if we try to get some air XP every day, but... There's not a lot of things we can do about that. Electronics we can do. Dry pole stuff. And eh, get some hydroelectric plants. Get more output, that's more important. Much more important than anything else. And we're not even making any more divisions because we don't have the industry for it. <sighs> we're almost getting to November, which is almost December by the time that will be done. But keep making more factories. Please, 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 please. At least Bone exists. Alright, so we got that focus done. Let's go and do the Eastern Question next. Actually, do we have an option to do, like, colonization about Alaska or something? That's a Siberian col colonization. I mean, we do have Russian Alaska still here. Oh, that's actually just a puppet. Okay. That's cool. Algonquin culture. Led by Konstantin Nikolaevich of Russia. Who is our heir? Request of lessons production, improve relations. Um, I don't think we need to do that. Build logging caps. Hey, they don't have unique focus tree, which is kind of okay. Oh, that's fine. And next. New. No. Biochemistry. No, we're done with biochemistry as well. Process engineering. Synthetic oil. Factory output. Definitely factory output. Um, yeah, not bad. There's not really much we can do about that. We could nuke them, but we don't have any nukes. Or strategic bombers, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So we should get the thing done very, very soon. It's... Oh. Oh. Oh, that hurts. I don't mind hurting my construction speed by doing this some more. Alright, at this point, we did that one. I'm going to go ahead and do... Let me grab that one. Internal politics, Rus. Go and do that one. I'll be okay with me for now. What is that button? Hold on. Oh, what extraction? We lose some civvies, but we can't afford that right now. That's okay for now. Well, at least that was kind of fun to watch. Even though the Raj is still fighting. Oh, wrought iron structures. Nice, not bad. The Typing Rebellion still exists somehow. Get more factory output. Because we're looking slightly better. Slightly. Mounted infantry. And we'll go with even more soft attack because I think it'd be kind of fun. Oh, I'll get more defense first. Camouflage principles, that'd be good. Yeah. More defense would be good as well. With a Raj like any sort of uh, attache? I'm good for that. We're good for that. Nice. Maybe we get some army XP too. Look kind of nice, actually. Kind of just watch what happens. Wow. You're looking extremely weak, UK. Yep, that makes... Okay, you're out of manpower. Benjamin Disreal. First Earl of Baconsfield. Urban growth, that's nice. Hey, we did it. We did it. We completed it, finally. We're still secularizing, which is fine. We build the railway. Finally. Woo! Alright, so what's the next one? Just so we can just probably just get started on it as fast as possible. Tbilisi, Railways, Karti? Ah, so right here needs another infrastructure then. How much infrastructure does this place need? At least three. There goes Comanche. And Railway in the Euros. Oh wait, we, oh, we need at least three. So just start doing that for now. But Railways is in Tbilisi. Cool. And Cartley. So that'll be good to just get started. And we're still building this up, which is not bad. More industry. Please, 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 please. Are there, is there anything else here that we need to do? Because we'll hopefully get that one done. Uh, not within 70 days, obviously. But when's the next infrastructure going to be done? Jesus Christ, June? My goodness. Even with maxed out efficiency for infrastructure, it's just still not good enough. And who's our heir? Seriously, like, who, who's the heir? Like... I don't like that the mod doesn't tell you who the heir is. I mean, it'd be cool if it, like, you could, like, hover over Alexander II, and it tells you, oh, the heir to this guy is so-and-so. Let me conscription. Uh, now, doing that politics idea of stat recruitable. Extensive conscription hurts us even more, I think. Yeah, it does. He holds a speech. Well, it is 1871. 
Got a little bit of time here. Just keep building. We made another civvy. Uh, make another civvy first. So let's get another one done soon enough. And we still have 1.43, which is okay. Comanche are gone. Goodbye, Comanche. That's great that we stand united. Construction speed. Uh, less legislative power gain, even less construction speed. I'll go to Peasant Holdings next. Let's do that one. Oh, oil extraction in Baku. Look at that. Oil, while not of much use now, seems to be needed by many new and interesting technology. It's possible that soon oil will be a vital resource for every industry. And the cheapest place where we're getting extracted is in the Baku on the shores of the Caspian Sea. Not bad. Cool. So we're done with all that stuff for now. Biochemistry is done for now. Process engineering gets to use a little bit more work, though. All right, let's go ahead and come over here. And what were we doing? I can't remember now. Hmm... Peasant Holdings? Was it Peasant? I think it was Peasant Holdings, right? Six? That's not bad. There it is. Yeah, we did go to Peasant Holdings. It hurts our PP. 1.42. That's not too bad. Camouflage principles. That's not bad either. Let's grab some of that. More defense. That'd be good. So we went from per land purchase, which looks pretty good, honestly. Hurts of construction speed, hurts of PP, but way more consumer goods, hopefully. And we're still in civilian economy, that's not bad. Construction speed 10%, I don't like that, though. Uh, yeah, that's not really worth doing. Collectivization, it, at least from what it looks like, it is not, it's not worth doing. Limited exports, meh, meh. No elections. Oh, economy's booming, great! Great, 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 great. The yeah, economy's booming. No elections. Hmm... Basic human rights constitution adopted. You need a little more stability, which is not bad. But what else we got around here? Support separatists in the Balkans? Sure, lower their stability and war support. The, the Ottomans are not going to like this, but that's okay. Who cares, right? Avoid coalitions, gather political legitimacy. Which, I mean, we're almost at, we're already at equilibrium, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, extraction of Baku's oil. Five civilian factories. Oh my goodness. At least, at least three infrastructure, which we're already halfway through, which is not bad. But my goodness, it just... I like the minor economic boom, that's kind of nice. Factory industry, nice. More cap, I guess, might as well. We're second power in the... second great power, which is not bad. Uh, freedom Assembly, Trade Unions. What are we on for Trade Unions? Free Trade Unions? Non-political. General Committees. Freedom of Assembly. We're on non-socialist. Tax rates, trade laws, growth policies, health care. Oh. Oh. They went to war with Korea. Okay. Good luck. We do have that one. Uh, land property. We already did that one. Yeah, collectivization, not worth it. Military spendage is okay. Discriminatory laws. We already have full equality. So, I'm not really seeing much here that we can really do. We already have the good courts. Uh, I guess if we really want to do with the trade unions. There you go. You can have that. Industrial ironworks. Got some more synthetic oil because I'm not sure what else we can do there. And I don't think we have any option regarding elections. I mean, yeah, we can get. I don't think we can change this at all. How do we get basic human rights? Is that an option? I don't think it is an option for us. Civil liberties, yeah. Yeah, we can't change that at all. Um, yeah, we can probably go to a secular state, but... Education. We already did well with that. Press. We already have free press, so... Yeah. Well, after this one, we'll probably do protect the Orthodoxy in the Holy Lands, in which they lose even more civilian legislative power, but I don't think they can really do too much about that, so. Durable cloth is nice. It's always good to have durable cloths. Horse Lumber don't really need that. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Early Marines, grab some more support attack. That'd be nice. For our horsey boys. And, yeah, protect the Orthodoxy. That's a good idea. Oh, we're going to eventually do Slavic Brotherhood. Increases the opinions of Serbia, Montenegro, Bulgaria. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Anything else, though? Mm, three weeks. 
And we should be almost done with this. Almost. And we're super close to getting Carti done. Cart Lee. Yeah, Cart Lee. Cart Lai. Nice. May 22nd. So then once this is done, we can probably go ahead and do... Oh. Oh, that sucks. Uh, railways in the Volga region. Now that Saritin is connected to Moscow, we should connect surrounding areas in cities such as Rostov on Don, Orenburg, Astrakhan, Saratov, and Simbirsk to Tsaritsyn by railway network to strengthen the imperial rule in that region. And Astrakhan and Volgodonsk. 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 So it's going to need at least one infrastructure here as well. Let's get this technology done first. Oh, wow, look at that lag. Oh, baby. Nice. Stainless steel. And Astrakhan, which I know is right there. Let's just start that one for now. That'll be okay. And which may not utilize abandoned land, so that's not bad. There's plenty of unused land in the Russian Empire. We'll encourage the settlement of these regions to not only expand our influence over them, but also to benefit the local currently untouched resources, as well as railway in the Urals. Commander died, don't care. Even though the lands that lay to the east of the Ural Mountains may seem like a wasteland. Okay. The fact they... They are, in fact, a region wealthy in resources. By building a railway network in the area, we'll be easily able to transport these goods. Oh, that's great. Uh, and thus, we'll strengthen the local economy. So, we'll build an infrastructure in these different places. But I think I'm going to end it here, just because there's really not much we can do about this. But, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow, as we will try to do as many focuses as we can, and build up even more infrastructure. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.